Hello, and welcome back to year three of the Religious Education Initiative. This is week 16. As we approach Christmas, the Church sets out several readings from the Old Testament for us that prophesy the coming of the Lord. This week, we will read from the book of Baruch, part of the larger prophetic corpus of Jeremiah. The latter portion of this reading, from chapter 3, verse 35 on, is the prophetic reading for the third hour in the Christmas royal hour. This passage is worth attending to because it begins by speaking about wisdom in what seems like a generalized metaphorical sense, but ends speaking clearly of wisdom as a person, and we in the church know who this person is. This is verse 9 of chapter 3. Hear the commandments of life, O Israel, give ear and learn wisdom. Why is it, O Israel, why is it that you are in the land of your enemies, that you are growing old in a foreign country, that you are defiled with the dead, that you are counted among those in Hades? You have forsaken the fountain of wisdom. If you had walked in the way of God, you would be living in peace forever. Learn where there is wisdom, where there is strength, where there is understanding, so that you may at the same time discern where there is length of days and life, where there is light for the eyes and peace. Who has found her place and who has entered her storehouses? Where are the rulers of the nations and those who lorded it over the animals on earth, those who made sport of the birds of the air and who hoarded up silver and gold in which people trust? And there is no end to their getting those who schemed to get silver and were anxious, but there is no trace of their works. They have vanished and gone down to Hades, and others have arisen in their place. Later generations have seen the light of day and have lived upon the earth, but they have not learned the way to knowledge, nor understood her paths, nor laid hold of her. Their descendants have strayed far from her way. She has not been heard of in Canaan or seen in Teman, the descendants of Hagar who seek for understanding on the earth, the merchants of Meran and Teman, the storytellers and the seekers for understanding have not learned the way to wisdom or given thought to her paths. O Israel, how great is the house of God, how vast the territory that he possesses. It is great and has no bounds. It is high and immeasurable. The giants were born there who were famous of old, great in stature, expert in war. God did not choose them or give them the way to knowledge, so they perished because they had no wisdom. They perished through their folly. Who has gone up into heaven and taken her and brought her down from the clouds? Who has gone over the sea and found her and will buy her for pure gold? No one knows the way to her or is concerned about the path to her. But the one who knows all things knows her. He found her by his understanding. The one who prepared the earth for all time, filled it with four-footed creatures. The one who sends forth the light and it goes. He called it and it obeyed him, trembling. The stars shone in their watches and were glad. He called them and they said, here we are. They shone with gladness for him who made them. This is our God. No other can be compared to him. He found the whole way to knowledge and gave her to his servant Jacob and to Israel whom he loved. Afterward, she appeared on earth and lived with humankind. She is the book of the commandments of God, the law that endures forever. All who hold fast to her will live, and those who forsake her will die. Turn, O Jacob, and take her. Walk toward the shining of her light. Do not give your glory to another or your advantages to an alien people. Happy are we, O Israel, for we know what is pleasing to God. So, the context for this, Baruch is the part of the, the works of Jeremiah that is attributed to the scribe of Jeremiah, Baruch. Uh, whether it is Baruch's prophecy himself or Jeremiah continuing to speak, uh, people can argue about this. The context for this is, this is written after the fall of Jerusalem, after the captivity, after the destruction of all the proud and high and lofty things in which the children of Israel, the people of Judah, had boasted uh, the destruction even of the temple. And Baruch begins asking the, the remnant of Israel in captivity, 
Do you know why you are here? Do you understand what is happening? It is because you forsook wisdom, because you abandoned the knowledge of God. And then he reflects throughout the passage on how rare the true knowledge of God is, how all the mighty in the world, the giants, the great, the wise, supposedly, they come to nothing in the end because they do not know true wisdom. And then he moves on to reflect on what true wisdom is. And he says, this is not just, you know, to be wise. This is not just to understand things. Wisdom is more closely connected to God. Wisdom is a person, not just uh, an asset of someone who is smart. Uh, and he continues saying, uh, afterward, wisdom lived on earth, or, well, appeared on earth and lived with humankind. Wisdom is the book of the commandments of God, the law that endures forever. Uh, all those who hold fast to wisdom will live. Those who forsake wisdom will die. So turn, Jacob, to wisdom. Walk toward the shining of the light of wisdom. Uh, but this piece saying before that wisdom appeared on earth and lived with humankind, this makes very clear. Uh, this is not just knowledge. This is, well, in the church we understand this is what we're about to celebrate for Christmas. This is talking about the Lord, our, our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, through whom the Father created all things, by whom he brings all things into order, and through whom he now reconciles fallen and rebellious humankind to himself. The one thing we should talk about besides this is simply that uh, the word for uh, wisdom in Hebrew, uh, I believe it's, it's chokhmah in Hebrew, but I, I'm probably saying that wrong. It's sophia in Greek. In both Hebrew and in Greek, this is a feminine noun, a grammatically feminine. It takes uh, uh, feminine pronouns, and this is why we have the her and the she throughout. Uh, we're talking about wisdom, and we're given to understand that this is both knowledge and understanding and the one from whom knowledge and understanding come, uh, the source of wisdom and truth, uh, the Son of God. Uh, and yet, this is veiled. Uh, you know, we're talking about wisdom personified, and therefore it's a her all the time, even though we know that our Lord Jesus Christ is... Well, as he comes in his humanity, he is a man. Uh, he is a he. So uh, that's why all the hers. We're talking about wisdom. But now to us in the church, wisdom has been revealed as the very person of our Lord Jesus Christ. So uh, a little bit of a different, uh, less, le less familiar uh, passage from the, uh, from the prophecies of the Old Testament, uh, anticipating and, and, and foretelling the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ so Merry Christmas. God bless you all. We'll see you for day two.